Hello everybody, my name is Ethan. And this is also Ethan. And today we're playing a two-dimensional game. What a surprise. It's Terraria. And we're starting a oh, brand new playthrough. Episode one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's Terraria. It's a classic in, in everyone's book. Hopefully you've heard of it before. But we gotta start out, you know, like every Terrarian, you know, chop down some trees. Oh yeah. Begin begin the due process. The due process of the law. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile the guide keeping us safe with his his uh, trusty bow. And we're playing on the most recent version of the game. By the way, watch out, you're almost dead. Uh, version 1.4. And it's mighty, mighty epic. Freak. Oh. No! No! Oh. Oh. No! Oh. No! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I think it's maybe a good time to craft a new sword. And favorite our tools. I have a legendary copper short sword. I don't know about yours, but oh, you should eat that right now. Demonic. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's not bad. This world has a crimson. It's medium sized since there's only two of us. You know, we don't want to go too crazy. Expert mode. Expert mode. Just find a desert. Make desert armor. Easy. Oh yeah, nice. Found a couple of living wood trees. Oh, nice. Let's see what we can find inside. Maybe a gnome? A gnome would be cool. Intrepid step stool. <laughs> oh, yeah. The step stool's a new item. I love it. Bro, there were two chests down here. I got a boomerang. Nice. A ruthless boomerang at that. All right, and we got two chests to start off the playthrough. All right, so I gotta get back up. We got some rope. Nice. I'm down in this cave over here, off to the right. Right on, right on. I think I'm gonna wait to go mining. Damaged boomerang. That's an L. Yikers. Oh, can of yeah. worms. <laughs> right click to open. That's funny. The can of worms is honestly really good. You can even get gold worms out of that. Can it be really nice for any playthrough? The ice blade. Oh, the ice blade is so good. But I might just die on purpose. To get back to spawn? Yeah. Do you not have any recall potions? Well, I died anyway. <laughs> oh, did you find a dart trap? I got hit by one and just one shot me. Yeah, if you don't have potions, those are those are a death right off the bat. We're back though. Welcome, welcome. Oh, should we join a team so that we can see each other on the map? You can join the red team. I'm on the red team. And now I can see you where you are. And if you oh, help, yeah. yeah, I have not encountered a single biome other than forest. Interesting world, Jen. I found the ice biome. You yeah, found some chlorophyte? <laughs> <laughs> if only. I imagine having chlorophyte this early in the game. That would be so epic. Oh, yes. I got some sunflowers. We can place those around. Sunflower. Whoa, whoa, we don't want to get copyright strike, dude. True. I did. I just said a word, bro. <laughs> so, are you gonna even talk about like how long it took us to start this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was kind of rough. Um, you know, our classic intro. We introduce ourselves. I'm Ethan, and you know, we have another Ethan in the call as well. Yeah, this but, is also Ethan. But apparently, when you're joining a Terraria server. You cannot have a name that is identical to another player on the server. So we had to learn that the hard way. And it was very, very rough. So I'm Naughty, Ethan backwards. <laughs> naughty, Naughty. <laughs> Bro.
It do already be nighttime though. Yeah. <laughs> Yikers. Now I can't make any of the freaking armor. Oh! He had a zombie armor. I didn't even notice. He killed me in two hits. That's why you don't look in your inventory while you're running toward an enemy, folks. Lesson learned. Uh. Nice. Oh, we should we should let the guide in here. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Yo, can I show you a cool trick? Hang on, hang on. I need to make a hammer. Okay. Actually, the guide is going to wander right through this, so we have to be careful, but, um... Oh, look at me go. Oh, 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 oh. Well, why in the world would you want to do that instead of a door? Because it's a one-way door. This first night, dude. It's always the most intense. Okay. Well, let's put down a sunflower. We can move a little faster. Enemies will spawn a little less frequently. Boomerang sucks. <laughs> the guy's about to die for real. I got a quick zombie arm. Oh, that is a bomb drop. That's actually so good. I'm gonna go mining because there's oh. not much else we can do at night. For real, dude. That's kind of what I was thinking too. All right, zombie. What do you What do you got there? Some torches. Psh. Yeah, you're gone. Blow pipe. Ooh. Yeah, have you got any idea what kind of class you want to run? Uh, I've always ran melee. Are you so still going to run melee? Not, so probably not melee. Probably not melee, all right. Maybe magic then? Ooh, magic is fun. Especially when you get to like the Spectre armor set. Yes. Oh yeah, I got. I used to play this game on Xbox. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, I got that. Uh, that set. Yeah, it is a good armor set. Oh, I found some amethyst. Although I haven't beaten the Moon Lord before, but we didn't really try too long. Have not or have? Have not. Ooh, yeah, it's a tough fight. They made it even tougher in this newer version. So. How so? Well, Is you like know he has a death beam, right? Mm hmm Well, it used to be able to be blocked by, well, blocks. Like, it wouldn't travel through blocks. But now it does to prevent people from just sitting underneath the platform the entire time. Oof. That yep. does spice things up quite a bit. Yep. Okay, I think I just need to block off this guy. Cool. Let's get some crafting. I got upgrades. I got a ruthless wooden boomerang now and a quick zombie arm. Woo! Nice. I'm being a little bit better now. I too have some upgrades. But I'm probably, yeah. There were like five slimes, dude. I could have used my blocks. I keep forgetting to use blocks. Oh, hard crystal? That's a cop. Should I mine all these resources down here, dude? Like metals? Yeah. Yes, for sure. Can't we make these a yo-yo on PC? Oh, the yo-yos are so good. On Xbox, it's really hard to use yo-yos. At least I feel like the joystick mechanics are weird for yo-yo. Does it just move in the direction that your yo-yo is pointing? Does yeah. it just move in the direction your joystick is pointing, sorry? Uh-huh. Oh, my. Which makes it hard to move, like, away and use it. Oh! Minecart? Is it minecart track? What the... Bruh, spawn just... Slime just spawned right on me. Yikers. Could have been a statue? Maybe. Probably. I didn't see one. I was mining through like a freaking solid stone and then one spawned right on me. Oh, yikers. Also, there's a ghost on me. 
Sorry, the boomerang shows him his boss. What? No. Giant worm? Dude. Yeah, those worm type enemies are so rough. And it's morning. Perfect timing for me to get right back into the mine. <laughs> Sorry, I'll make the most of it. Ooh. If you want to get a yo-yo, dude, I found some cobwebs here. I think I actually got some. I think I actually have cobwebs. Yeah, I do. Nice. If you have enough, you could probably make a yo-yo. How much do you need? I think 15. Oh, I do not. I have eight. Ah, uh, I see. You can always talk to the guide if you need to know. I made a furnace. Thank you. Much appreciated. Are we going to put money in valuables? If you have like a gold coin, yes. But anything less than that isn't significant enough, I don't think. I'll put silver in there for now. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of silver. Silver is great. It makes Copper. the fastest. Hmm? What about potions? Do you have potions in here too? Uh, currently, I have only two chests labeled. One of them is for items that stack, and the other is for items that don't stack. If you want to get more specific with it, be my guest. But that's just how I started us off. I see. So I mentioned that I had a lot of cobwebs, and actually, you can make an accessory with cobwebs as soon as you get a loom. And it's so inexpensive to make that we might as well just craft a ton of them so that we can get good reef, uh, good modifiers. You know, like if we can get a warding or a guarding one, that'll be really helpful. At we have a living loom, you know. right? We do, but that won't count. That's true. I just remember that it doesn't work as a normal room. Yeah, but it it's is really cool for early game furniture. It's been a bit for me for Terraria, not gonna lie. No, oh, man, that's I. I can't say the same here. I've been playing so much Terraria this summer. I played a lot in the past, but also now just playing on the keyboard and mouse so getting used to that as well yeah what a nice day it is here in terraria oh are you guys having a nice day i hope so i hope everyone can have a nice day but you know the bad days do come some days aren't as great as others that's just how we please so here's life i guess my goodness these frost burn arrows are so good i need to cop a few a few more i should say oh. yeah if you're looking for a no. good dps weapon right out, right out the gate bro i'd totally recommend frost burn <laughs> arrows with any bow oh yeah because if you have any ice blocks, that'll make three ice torches, I think. Yeah. Any one ice block makes three ice torches, and one ice torch makes ten frostburn arrows. Yeah, I haven't really used bows or ranger too much. It's OP in the beginning of the game, but as other classes develop, it gets a little less overpowered. Yeah, like magic is kind of hard to find in the beginning of the game. They did buff the Wando Sparking though. I think it deserved it entirely. 
I don't know if I've ever got the wand of sparking, or just never paid attention to it. I mean, it, it has such measly damage that the only real reason I would ever use it is for the on fire debuff that it causes. Oh! Oh my what? goodness. Yo, can we roll that back? That was like the closest, that was the near death experience of the century. Fall damage or? A detonator. Oh. There we go. Sounds like fun. Oh, it was a blast, yeah. Nearly, a blast? Nearly a, a blast. blast. Well, good one, good one. Thanks, Chief. All right. I probably was a little too close to that bomb. I nearly killed myself with it. Let's try uh, another one. Boop. There was so, so much what are the, like, obviously the journey up there is up, but what did the rest of the game receive in Journey's End? Uh, what do you mean? Like, what were, like, major updates that it received? I know that they got some new bosses. Yeah, there were, mm -hmm. there are two new bosses. Kind of three now. Um, but there were a lot of quality of life improvements as well as the new pylon system. So I'm a big fan of the pylons. I think they're a great addition. They both incentivize building and uh, allow you to fast travel, which is super nice. And they kind of force you to spread out around the world instead of just building all of your NPC houses near the spawn point, which is really great. Yeah. How do pylons work? I haven't like done too much research. So it all depends on the NPC's happiness. And there's plenty of guides out there on how to like get the get NPCs the happiest they can be. But uh, factors that contribute to happiness include uh, how many neighbors that NPC has. If it has too many neighbors, they will be unhappy. That's funny. They just want to be loners. Well, they don't want to be too crowded, you know. So it it, it, uh, it doesn't allow you to really do that huge NPC hotel tower thing oh. that people would do. At me. I used to do that. Yeah, I fall victim to it as well. It's easy, it's quick. And at the beginning of the game, that's kind of all you can afford. But now your NPCs are unhappy and charge you higher prices if they're too crowded. Additionally, to buy a pylon, every NPC, or the NPC you buy the pylon from, has to be happy. So, uh, mm. so you have to make sure that they don't have too many neighbors, that they don't hate their neighbors, because you know some NPCs dislike each other, uh, and that they are not in a hated biome, because some NPCs hate certain biomes as well. A lot of stuff to consider there. Yeah. It also added a bestiary, so you can look at which NPCs like which biomes a little bit easier that way. Like if you press, if you open your inventory and then click the little book that's near the sort inventory button, you'll see all of the non-player characters you've encountered, and the guide is in there. When you click on him, you see that the background behind him is a forest, and that means that he likes the surface biome, just like it says beneath his little uh, dialogue box. So there's some new interface stuff. It's all pretty neat. That is pretty neat. That's a cool update to incentivize stuff like that. Yeah, dude. A little bit more complexity, I guess. That's right. All right. Holy moly. Silt hurts when it falls. Silt and slush. I never missed anything in this game. Oh, I never went to the lights. What are you up to, Mr. Ethan? 
I am down uh, by a mine cart track. Nice, me too. To the right of our base. Yeah. Found anything inch of interest? I just found a few rubies, which is nice. I found amethyst. Which I believe is the worst gem, right? Uh, it's, I think it's a little bit better than Topaz, but they're close. They're close. Bruh. Two heart crystals right next to each other? Woo! We take those. Well, what is the best crystal? Diamond. Oh, should I guess that one? <laughs> Goodness, there's so many slimes down here. There is, bro. I'm not loving it. You look at the uh, 1.4.0.5 patch notes increase slime spawn rate. <laughs> <laughs> no, more amethyst. I don't know my last nine frost burn arrows. Getting kind of short there. I know. Oh. My health, I'm not thriving, but now I get to mine all this platinum. Okay, these slimes are getting too problematic. We're just blocking them off. All right, bomb time. Oh no, I kind of locked myself in here. No! Oh my goodness, that was so dumb. Oh, I'm kicking myself for that one. You lock yourself in with the slimes? Nope. Did you see the death message? I did not. I just missed it. You can press enter to view the chat. I uh, I placed blocks so that the slimes wouldn't get me. Oh. But I was too close to my bomb and it blew up on me. The Terraria legend kills himself. Yeah, that was not ideal. But now that we have a workbench and a furnace, I'm going to start making some metals. And then we'll start getting anvils. So this is fun. Let's, let's make an anvil. Put some platforms down. No, dude. That's a rip. Look at the charger killed me, bro. The chargers are the worst, man. They they take like zero knockback. Also, I found the uh, the desert underground. Yes, yes. I would I would assume so. Yeah. All right. Yo, you look like you need some help there, bro. Oh my guy, thank you. Anytime. There's my wood. I'm just expanding over here a little bit. What's up? Welcome to the home. Alright, now we have a loom. And now we can make white string. Should I make you a yo-yo first? Uh what's their damage? Nine Is melee damage. Because I have a zombie arm, so. But can the zombie arm reach around corners? Mm -hmm. With the white string, the yo-yo is going to be good anyway. So, yoink. And then white string. Demonic. Okay. Okay, it doesn't actually have a modifier. But if you have 30 cobwebs, you can make yourself one. What? If you get 30 cobwebs, you can make yourself a yo-yo uh, a string, a, a white string. Wait, I have a yo-yo. Yes, but the, the white string increases the range, and also it's so cheap that you can get good modifiers by just crafting a bunch of them. Wait, the yo-yo you gave me has a demonic modifier. I mean the white string. Oh. My bad. Okay. All good, all good. Um, I was so confused. Rightly so. Lights. 
think I'm good. And now okay. it's my turn, so. Well, I actually think we have to wrap up this episode here. Yep, we're going to call it here. And two nights in, we're hoping to get more geared up tomorrow, do some more exploring, maybe find the jungle. We have a lot to explore in this world. Lots. Hopefully not die to an until on charger again. Yeah, those ant lions, man. They are rough. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you next time. Peace.